Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Shang Yang, and I am a second year PhD at MIT ECS at Feinstein Process Professor Song Han. So, today I'm very glad to introduce our group's recent work, the QSERP W488KB4 Conversation and System Code Design for Efficient Large Rank Model Survey. So, let's first briefly introduce the uh, motivation of the QSERP paper. So, basically, uh, efficiently serving large rank model on cloud servers has become more and more important. Nowadays, and uh, in this scenario, we typically focus on the decoding stage because it's a system bottleneck. And in this figure, you can see that uh, uh, most uh, tension and the jam computation can take uh, most of the decoding time when serving large language model on the cloud. So we are going to focus on the optimization of both the attention, uh, attention computation and matrix multiplication. So overall, we are going to do with uh, new precision choice for large language model conversation. And we propose the QQ quantization algorithm, which stands for quarter of quarter, so 484 in Latin. And assuming, uh, as you can see on the right hand side, the W488KB4 quantization can achieve the best of both worlds when compared to the existing quantization precision, such as W486 and W888. So, across different kind of scenarios with different kind of input batch sizes. So uh, this is because we quantize the weights to 4 bits for the sake of memory bandwidth while all the weights and we quantize the activation to 8 bits for the utilization of e efficient e a tensor core media GPUs and we also quantize the KB cache to 4 bits per element so that we can save the memory of the KB cache and accelerate the tension computation as well. So another popular quantization choice is the 4 bit quantization for both weight and activations W484. So you may have a question like uh, what can we go more aggressively with the LM quantization? Can we just uh, uh, compress the whole model to 4 bit with both weight and activation? Uh, unfortunately, the uh, existing method for the W4A4 quantization cannot achieve the best of the accuracy and it also suffers from the prominent inference overhead. And you, on the left hand side, you can see that the uh, uh, existing W4A4 uh, quantization algorithm, the state of the art of them can still lag behind the naive W4A8 uh, KB4 quantization uh, from the per uh, perspective of model complexity. And on the right hand side, uh, we demonstrate that even the la uh, latest W4A4 system can still lag behind the NVIDIA's Tensor RTLM, even with the FP16 precision when serving large large models on the cloud GPU, like a uh, under GPU, uh, from the perspective of you know, throughput. Uh, this is because there are a lot of decondensation overhead when we are going to do with uh, W4A4 condensation. So that's why we are pursuing a new condensation precision for the large language model surfing on the cloud. Uh, so much about the background and motivation of this paper, and now we are going to talk about the algorithm design of this paper. Uh, the QOQ W4A8 KB4 condensation algorithm for large language model cloud survey. Actually, a key part of our QOQ algorithm is uh, progressive group, group condensation for our W4A8 gem computation. And instead of a direct aggressive condensation that uh, directly maps the uh, FP16 weights to 4 bits, we firstly uh, quantize the FP16 weights to 8 bit per element with the per channel condensation. And based on this, we first quantize the intermediate uh, W8 into W4 with the group condensation. So crucially, before the gem computation, these four bit weights are then decontached to eight bits, so that it can be uh, modified with the eight bit activation with the inter tensor core and media GPUs. Uh, notably, we introduce a, pro a protective rent for the first step of inter eight quantization, uh, so that the weight values will remain within the inter eight range when we decontact the four bit weights back to the eight bit weights before the tensor core computation. So otherwise, if we do not restrict the uh, range of the first quantization to int 8, there might be a risk of overflow. So uh, most specifically, we also provide a mathematical analysis in this slide, and we can see that we restrict the first quantization step as uh, int 8 weights to no more than the minus 119 to 119. And uh, through restricting the maximum absolute value of the first step into eight uh, intermediate weights, we, are, we can strictly prevent any kind of uh, you know, uh, overflow issue in the later decondensation from into eight, uh, into four to into eight before the matrix multiplication on tensor core and MMA. Uh, so much about the general condensation algorithm, and now let's talk a little bit more about the uh, attention and KB cache compression. In QSERF, we quantize the KB cache to 4 bit per element to save the memory of KB cache and to accelerate the attention computation. However, directly reducing the KB cache to 4 bits can cause significant accuracy degrade because, as you can see on the, uh, in the middle, we, we demonstrate the data distribution of the key cache, and we can see that uh, there is a prominent outlier channel in the key cache. Uh, 
Well, on the left hand side, the value cache is, uh, is uh, the distribution is quite normalized and it's easy to context by the, the key cache. Uh, the situation can be very different. In order to solve this, we got some inspiration from the smooth quantum paper from our, uh, one, public, uh, one previous publication from our group. Uh, we get some inspiration from that and we propose a smooth attention uh, so, so that we can uh, note that in the decoding stage, the query matrix is relatively very, very small compared to the KV cache, so there's no need to contest the query and we keep it in IP16 and so that we can migrate all the condensation difficulty from the key cache to the query matrix. And when computing skinning vectors for the smooth attention, uh, since we do not contest the queries, we only need to consider the key cache as a data distribution of keys. And uh, in, the, in the equation at the bottom, we can see that the lambda i is the skinning factor for the ice channel of the key cache, and we only compute the, you know, uh, the power of the absolute maximum value of key cache in each channel. And we utilize alpha equal to 0 0.5 in smooth attention to achieve a balance between the quantization algorithm's complexity and the accuracy of the context model. Uh, so, so much about the, you know, so much about the algorithm uh, design of our condensation, or, uh, condensation the QQ condensation algorithm, and now we are going to talk about a little bit more about the system of the QSER, which is the efficient LM serving infrastructure with W4AH KB4 condensation. First of all, I'd like to show the high-level overview of the system, the so precision data for the QSERP, and you can see that uh, every linear layer in the decoder layer has been converted to 4-bit with the with W4 condensation, and we also quantize the input of each linear layer, the activation to 8-bit per element, so that we can perform the W4H uh, matrix multiplication. It is worth noting that we fuse the condensation of the activation to the layers that preceding the linear layers whenever possible, for example, the layer norm here, so that the condensation overhead for the activation can be minimized. Uh, now let's uh, dive a little bit deeper to the system design of the QSOR system. And first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, how do we do context matrix multiplication of GPUs. And state of the art system typically implements a tensor code with the output distribution data for as shown in this figure. And on the top left, we can see that both FP16 and W8AH gem uh, do, the, do you know, uh, the main loop is executed entirely on the tensor codes without any extra overhead like uh, dequantization, scaling, etc. And we move all this dequantization overhead to the app node, so the implementation of the host kernel can be very efficient. However, for other, con for other context gems such as W4A16 and W4A4, both of them require the decontization operations in the main loop, which is executed on the slow, cancer, uh, slow CUDA core. And for example, the W4A16 matrix multiplication needs uh, decontization of weight from 4 bit to FP16, and W4A4 needs uh, you know, decontization, scaling, and uh, accumulation of the partial sum, which not only introduces the decontization overhead, but also adds to the register pressure. In QSERP, we employ a two-level progressive group condensation approach to ensure that all computations are performed on the tensor core, and we choose to do weight decondensation instead of partial sum decondensation because it has low uh, register pressure, and we move all the scaling, scale, general scaling to the epilogue to minimize the overhead. So uh, now we know how to do the context gem on GPUs, and now uh, first we are going to talk about some challenges and design details of the QSERP gem kernel. So the first thing we need to do is to load the weight map elements to, from the like, DRAM from memory to the register for the tensor core computation. And the load matrix instruction is typically used in GPU gem kernels to load matrix elements to, from the, uh, to the register for tensor core MMA. And in this figure, we can see that uh, different layers in the same work working collaboratively to load the memory uh, to load the elements. And each thread can, each thread can get the direct, uh, directly get the required elements from the load matrix instruction. However, while the load matrix instruction works perfectly for W88 matrix multiplication, it is unsuitable for mixed precision gems such as W488 due to the problem of you know, uh, the, a storage computer mismatch. So for example, on the top figure, you can see that if we directly use the load matrix instruction, the thread T0 can get the uh, element from, that is required by both T0 and T1 for the computation. Uh, leading to undesired behavior of the tensor core. In order to solve this, we introduce a compute a weight weight reordering as shown in the bottom figure, and we can see that we pack the four bit weights that needed by T0 together into eight bits, so that we can directly use the load matrix instruction for eight bit matrix multiplication, and each thread can get the correct 
highly than support the later computation. So that the uh, uh, mixed precision, uh, the mem uh, the computer memory mismatch problem in mixed precision gem can be well resolved with the computer we are already we are designed. And after we are able to load the uh, weight metrics to the register for further tensor core MMA, the next step is to do the diffusion decomposition from 4 bit to 8 bit. And the first step is to do the weight unpacking. So, as in the middle row, we can see that there are 32 different weights, and we, differ, we only need three different instructions to unpack them from 4 bit to uh, unit 8, with, uh, which is very efficient. And after we are able to do the uh, Unpack, uh, unpacking, the next step is to apply the zero points and scaling factors so that we can really actually compress the interval ways to 8 bits for further, for further matrix modification in 8 bits. So there are two different methods to do this. The first method is we call it subtraction before modification, which means we first add the zero points back and then modify the output with the scaling factor. And as you can see on the left hand side, this example shows that this method can have the risk of overflow and which may lead to uh, inaccurate, inaccurate, incorrect output uh, for during the decondensation process. So in order to solve this, we introduce the subtraction after multiplication, as you can see on the right hand side. Uh, our design of progress group condensation uh, in the condensation algorithm guarantees that there will be no overflow issue if we do the decondensation in this method and we can fully utilize the register level parallelism to decondense four bits uh, to decompose four weight elements together with the uh, same instruction. So, uh, so much about the uh, matrix multiplication implementation, and now we are going to talk about how do we accelerate the tension computation. So, uh, we start from the 8 bit KV cache uh, attention kernel from tensor TLM, and we notice that directly at the 4 bit condensation will actually lead to uh, make the attention kernel sl even slower than the original. This is because there are a lot of decondensation overhead during the KV4 condensation. So this makes the uh, attention kernel no more memory bounded, but actually the operation bound or compute bound. In order to solve this, we introduce optimization techniques such as efficient interval to FP16 conversion, the uh, control flow simplification, and uh, the zero point, uh, zero point scaling factor perfection, so, uh, et cetera. So add all these things up, we are able to accelerate the attention kernel by 50% compared to the original template with 8 bit KV cache from TensorRT so finally, I'd like to present some uh, system level uh, over, uh, evaluation of the filter system. We compare filter with the state of the art framework tensor TLM from media and the uh, best uh, implementation for W4A4 conversations, the Atom and the Corot. And we can see that compared to all these different systems, our filter is able to achieve up to 2.4 to 3.5 times speed up over the state of the art frameworks across different mm -hmm. models and the different GPUs. And we also provide the accuracy evaluation of our condensation algorithms, W4A8 KV4 condensation. Uh, and we can see that compared to the state of the art W4A4 condensation algorithm, our method can better preserve the perplexity of the model by a great margin. So, looking ahead, the principles developed in QSF are also informing our next steps. So, one exciting direction is the efficient serving for the super long sequence uh, of LMs with, uh, on the cloud, which we are working with another project named LSERT. So uh, interestingly, so LSERP is also accepted by MLSIS 2025, so if you are interested, please feel free to come to my presentation uh, tomorrow, actually at the same time. <laughs> so that's uh, all about my presentation today. Thanks a lot for your attention, and I'm glad to take questions. Thank you.